couple times, Kentucky's treacherous. Uh, if you get out of the groove by any means, it's like you're guaranteed to get sucked into the wall. It's it's pretty fast, but it's uh, it's challenging because both ends are a lot different. It can be fun. It's a unique track. Definitely, you know, a little different than any other mile and a half that we run, just because turn three is so flat. So. Uh, it gets a little tricky there. So it feels like you descend from turn one down through turn two. And then when you go into turn three, there's, there's really nothing, nothing to lean on. There's no banking until you get to the middle of the turn and you start driving back into the bank on turn four and climbing back up the hill. It's one of the easier corners on the circuit to overdrive, you know, just get into that corner too far and then it pretty much scraps that whole end of the racetrack. You know, whenever there's banking, it's easy to, to lean on it and feel like you're getting grip, but you know, with it being so flat into three, it, Gives you an uneasy feeling getting in, but you know since Avery paved it, I feel like the track's got a little more grip, so it's it uh, makes it a little easier on us, but still tricky. I don't know that I've been to a track that I like better after they paved it, so it, you know it was really rough before and probably needed it, you know, but it had a lot of character and felt like you kind of moved around and passed. I liked it when it had a lot of character. Um, it seems like right now we only use half the racetrack. I wish we had the opportunity or were able to use the entire racetrack uh, with the progressive banking. We haven't done that yet, so. I think its best days are ahead of it.